Also developing tonight, an innocent teenager was wounded after being caught in the crossfire of a shootout outside of North Forest High School this morning. A bullet grazed that teen's hand, and tonight he's talking about those very scary moments. It's an unfortunate situation that they brought the guns and the firearms onto campus, but unfortunately that is just the world we live in now. People do crazy things for no reason. That shootout happened just moments after seniors finished rehearsing for graduation. Our Keith Garvin live from HPD headquarters downtown tonight. And Keith, were students firing at other students? Oh, no, Dominique. Uh, police say that is not the case at all. These students were simply innocent bystanders. The shooters were non-students. One of them, unfortunately, was wounded in the hand. The situation could have turned out different than it did. And 17-year-old Joshua Geegan knows that is an understatement. The graduating senior was leaving graduation practice at HISD's North Forest High School in Northeast Houston when shots rang out around 10.30 Wednesday morning. I heard multiple gunshots while I was sitting in a um, parking lot with my friend in the um, school parking lot. Joshua had nothing to do with the shooting. He doesn't even know who fired the gun. He ducked, but was unable to get totally out of the way. I happened to um, get caught in a crossfire. He was struck in the hand, but is thankful he escaped with a non-fatal wound. His family is angry and relieved at the same time and can't believe an act of violence could mar such a joyous occasion. He's about to walk the stage and he's been super excited about graduating and starting a new chapter of his life. And for somebody to be that dumb, senseless, senseless insensitive to do that. But Joshua, who was in the band at North Forest, is staying focused on marching across the graduation stage. No tragedy is good. No incident or no situation like this is good or have positive um, results. But therefore, that the tragedy wasn't as bad as it could have been, it makes me more thankful. And back here live, police say a gray vehicle was involved. They are still looking for a suspect in today's shooting. In the meantime, Joshua is going to graduate on Saturday. After graduation, he plans to attend San Jacinto Community College. And then after that, Langston University in Oklahoma, where he plans to uh, major in business management or possibly nursing. So we are hoping some very good things for him and, and glad he is okay. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Keith Garvin, KPRC 2 News. Thank you, Keith.